Gospel music star Amy Grant will have an easy commute to the Country Music Awards. She lives right down the road a piece. Amy Grant is in a good place, and that doesn't just mean the pastoral setting she shared with her husband, songwriter Gary Chapman. It really means that she's been able to sing music she believes in, Christian music, and still sell millions of albums. I can look back over the last 10 years and feel so incredibly supported, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, um, that there's a guarantee 10 years from now. And that's the fun and challenge of it. But so far, so good. Amy's won four Grammys and was the first solo gospel artist to have a gold record. She's been writing songs since the age of 14 and now is starting to show quite a bit of pop crossover appeal, singing the praises of Jesus with a trendy touch. My perspective on life changes with every year and with every event. If there were a message in my music, it would be life from a Christian perspective. I feel like that's been consistent, but it also has changed as I have changed over the last 10 years, thank goodness. You know, I'd hate to be 27 with a 15-year-old brain still. <laughs> One major change of late was the birth of Amy and Gary's first child, Matt, last year. I mean, that's a huge experience to share with somebody, and it's ongoing. And there was the moment of first seeing Matt's face and thinking, oh, Gary Chapman, I mean, we've produced a lot of things together, records, songs, but this, you know, makes everything else pale. I don't know how long my singing career can last. I don't know how long it can be mom singer, mom singer, mom singer. There is one very special aspect to a relationship like that, however. Amy, the mother, can talk to her child with song. There's not the same emotional drive to explain something to somebody else's child as you experience when suddenly you think, this is my child. Mm, nice story. Amy and her husband are in the midst of a 58-city tour, and son Matthew goes right along for the ride. In fact, last month he celebrated his first birthday on the road.